Hey everyone, Pupsker here. So it looks like Tenogen Round 20, I believe Part 1 has just dropped in Warframe. As you can see, Call of the Tempestari Tenogen Update 30.1. It pretty much just dropped now, but hey, we've known about it for a little bit. We have just haven't really been able to buy anything. So I thought let's take a look at Tenogen and actually see what there is to get. We'll take a look at all of the new stuff one by one because it just kind of throws it all at you in this annoying format of just new. So, we'll take a look. First, we have a new Baruch skin. I mean, with some good fashion frame, this can look pretty cool. Uh, I myself don't really care for the orange just because you, you guys know I like blue, but I mean, I like orange on Protea, so. It's a good skin. I personally never buy Tenogen skins because I am a poor boy and skins are hella expensive because Steam. But hey, maybe one day I'll sell all my CSGO guns again and I'll buy all of the skins. But this one is definitely pretty cool. Wee. Sorry, I'm just playing with the tassels, my bad. We have a Grendel skin. Okay, this one's actually pretty cool. He kind of looks, uh... <laughs> okay. Starcraft 2, right? A unique skin for Grendel Warframe, designed by Vulbjorn. So he A, looks infested as hell, like what in God's name has become of him. And B, he looks like just, oh God, he looks like a Starcraft 2 infested, to be honest. Just look at this f chonker just charging you and then eating you with his stomach. Yeah, with some uh, good fashion frame, this skin can definitely look pretty badass. Pretty excited to see what, uh, what fucked up Grendel ones we actually found, or end up seeing, I should say. Yeah, I'm excited though. Next is this Inaro skin, Inaro's Osmandia skin. Unique skin for the Inaro's Warframe, designed by Matson481. Oh yeah, which reminds me, if anyone does actually buy any of these and make some sick fashion frames, remember to throw them in the Discord fashion frame channel, because I always like pretty fashion frames. This one with some good fashion frame will also look pretty cool. I'm not a huge Inaros player or anything like that. I don't think a ton of people are right now, but I like the look of this one right now. Look at it. Look at him. And then you can... Okay, yeah, you can see all that. Look at this boyo. But yeah, I, I don't at all play Inaro, so I won't be getting this anytime ever. But I mean, it looks pretty cool. Look at all, look at all that. Well, yeah. Okay, 10 out of 10. Here we have the Nidus Technosist skin. Okay, I actually kind of love this one. A unique skin for the Nidus Warframe designed by Master Noob. Nice. No, this one actually looks hella cool, especially with some really good fashion framing. Like, throwing on sick color designs. By default, it already looks really nice. I myself personally like it, okay? I always love Nidus skins though, just because of the design, look, and feel of Nidus. So, hey, maybe that's kind of like a cheat, but look at that, look at that mouth. Look at the side of the helmet. I'm pretty excited for this one, actually. Maybe one day I will end up having to buy this one. But, yeah, throwing good fashion frames, some sick color combos on this one, some very edgy colors. Nidus could look dope as hell. Quite exciting. Next, we have the Octavia Yokai Yukai skin, a unique skin for Octavia Warframe designed by Hitsusan. So, I'm terrible at speaking anything. I like the ram design on the horns, though. Like, that looks really cool. This, just honestly, everything looks really cute. I like the design of the colors by default, too, as well. It actually has a pretty good uh, color pattern differences and, like, you know, just wherever the primary, secondary colors are. I would also love, oh look at that news, I would also love to see this one uh, with some good fashion frame if anyone, if anyone wants to buy this and throw some sick fashion frame, throw them at my Twitter or throw them at Discord because, yeah, or Instagram, I don't know how that stuff works but I'll probably see it eventually. Don't you just like add people with posts? I don't know. But this one's really cool, I like this one for sure. And I've been having a lot of fun with Octavia, so I could definitely see myself getting that one. Here we have the Protea Collapsar skin. I've been having a lot of fun with Protea lately. I don't know if anyone's noticed when I've been playing her a lot on stream. Hey, she's just been pretty fun in Chill Warframe. This definitely looks pretty cool. I really like the helmet design on this one as well. Yeah, I really like cool helmet designs, honestly, and like color patterns. So this one by default, I like the redness. The bl the white I might change to black just to make instant edgy Protea skin. But yeah, by default, I already love the look of it. I'd love to see some edgy fashion frame on this one as well. Yeah, that's all I care about, clearly. It's the goddamn edgy fashion frame and the random color mess ups that I love. But I really do like the skin, so 
Good job, lead 2012. No, I really do though. I like the blue uh, that's thrown in here too. I'm excited to play Protea, to be honest. But I need to eventually buy up a lot of Tano Gen skins in due time. Last for the actual Warframes, but not least, we have, I love this one as well, a Revenant Dragon skin. Probably saying half these things wrong, let's be real here. A unique skin for the Revenant Warframe, designed by Guzmo. I always like just how Revenant looks by default with his uh, arm and the energy. But this one, yeah, I like his hair back here too. It honestly, it looks really cool. I would love to see some cool fashion frame, but I honestly, I'm really digging the default on this one by far. The most out of all of them. Because sometimes like default color combos, you know, it's just not your taste, things like that. But this one, no, I definitely like the, like that. Just, I just like it, okay? This is 10 out of 10, I want it. I want all of this. But I, I would truly buy all the skins if I was a rich boy, but that's not how that works. So everyone, that's it for Warframe. So now we're just gonna quickly go over the rest of everything. This is the Octavia Gyokoso helmet. I probably said that wrong. Let's be real here, okay? Anyways, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like kind of a top hat, but it also looks kind of silly, so. I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? I don't think I'd probably buy this one for my Octavia because I like the uh, previous skin a lot more. But hey, let me know what you think, little top hat skin. Next, we have the Presidum mask. As you can see, it looks like that. I clicked on it and just wouldn't you know, my terrible great design blocks literally all of it. So the mask just goes on right there. I do think it's pretty cool. I do actually like it, but I myself am not really an operator fashion master at all. I just threw on my edgy operator fashion and then called it a day. Definitely looks like a cool purchase though. So if you like operator fashion, maybe it's worth it for you. Okay, now we have some weapon skins. That's right, this is the two-handed Nakana Dogma skin. So what do you guys think about this one? This is pretty much a big fuck off laser uh, Nakana. <laughs> Like, look how it looks. I really like it. If uh, you're into fashion framing the futuristic corpus look, like, this definitely might be for you. Obviously, it's up to you. I like how Nakana's two-handed Nakana's, like, just look by default. So, any skin that they throw on, I just love them anyways. So, 10 out of 10. I love the big heavy swords and two-handed Nakana's because, let's be real here. They're pretty cool. Now we have a Machete Kuther skin. As you can see, similar style to the previous weapon, so they're probably going with kind of a kind of a theme here. Okay, so definitely looks corpus as fuck. Definitely a big old energy weapon, so I'd buy this if, again, you're into that sort of look, you like this look, and you want a fashion frame with it, because it looks pretty cool, so go for it. Okay, for Scientana's, we have the Schottenheim's Music Scientana. I may have messed read that, but oh well. The Scientana might be a little hard to see with, you know, my Naja here, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm always down for more Scientanas. Some that you just get playing the game here and there. They do look kind of goofy as hell, but most of these ones that you buy, they just look beautiful. So you could definitely throw this on a certain elegant style of Warframe fashion frame, or really like just whatever you want realistically, right? I like that with Naja. <laughs> the the Sidonna kind of gets looped in here with the ring, so... Uh, it looks kind of funny. Technically, it's locked in place, but, you know, let's... That's, you know, Warframe things. It looks beautiful, and I definitely recommend that, because, yeah. Signed on as 10 out of 10. This is the only one here, so let's take a look at the rest of the items. Okay, last not, but not least, we have three more armor pieces. First off, we have the Ion Shoulder Armor. Uh, it looks like a pretty cool shoulder armor, all in all. I like the wrapping on it. Just like the, uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, too. So, I would definitely pick those up if you're looking for some cool shoulders. If you could throw that on any of your fashion frames. I just definitely throw this on, uh, Excal. Like, Zato Excal. I think it'd look cool, but, hey. Who knows? Who knows? That's right, to go with the Sayandana, we have Jotunheim's Music Shoulder Armor. Again, designed by MZ3. I, sometimes I say the designer, sometimes I don't because I'm a mess. If you do purchase these, so I believe 30% of the revenue goes to the designer, so it's always a good idea to buy uh, the Tenogen stuff. This is definitely a pretty cool looking Octavia setup here. 
Look, look at that. Just music, man. So, obviously, music shoulders kind of set up for Octavia. <laughs> but naturally, you could throw them on anyone. It's just kind of an obvious match for Octavia. And definitely looks cool as hell. I like it, so pick it up if you want. If not, yeah, you do you, dude. Okay, last we have this chest piece here. I actually do like this. It kind of looks like a Rego chest armor. Unique chest armor for your Warframe designed by these two. It kind of looks like an Excalibur, like a Rhino head. Um, I definitely love it though. I think it looks really cool. I always love uh, these spiky designs with everything. So this is the final Tenogen 20 part one piece. Tell me what you think. I myself thought, like, I mean, pretty much everything's really well made and beautiful, but some of them I like more than others naturally, just because of the design and how they feel to me. So, tell me what you think. Are there any skins that you're definitely purchasing? Did you just instantly buy them all, or are you just buying one or two? Let me know, guys. If you like the video, subscribe. Check out some of my other stuff. Just thought it'd be cool to take a look at some cool fashion frames today and have a pretty chill video. It's gonna come up a little later, probably, than most people's, because I'm gonna go get some stuff done first. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you for being here. Peace.